Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoor Gear, and we are on another adventure. All right, let's get packed up. Let's take a look at how I have it set up. On the back here, I have my sleep system, hammock, quilt, and stuff like that. On the back side here is all my camera gear. And little side pack here is just like snacks and bars. This is for like tools if I have any kind of issue with like a breaking chain or anything like that. Cell phone, like keys and wallet. I can put my water bottles in here, which I'm keeping back here. I'm also can put my drone or any kind of like camera equipment inside here as well. GoPro in back here is the GoSun, uh, the charging system, some clothes, and I got food and a chair and a table. That's it. Seems like a lot of stuff. We got 77 miles with some weight. This is a 750 a Fang motor with a 17 amp hour battery. Super excited to use this. Now let's get it put together and let's get on the trail. It's calling for rain by 11 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock right now and it's going to bring a cold front in. Right now it's 50. That rain is going to bring it down into the low 30s. And so, and then a cold front through the rest of our trip. Let's get this thing put together. For safety. pedal assist I got it on two it is it sheds weight like crazy check this out that's cool riding by this creek here never done anything like this before I've done plenty of kayaking trips hiking but never bike and then my first biking trip 77 miles this seat is the original seat it's super comfortable. They say it's a gel pad. And then with these grips that are flat, it's not putting pressure right on my wrist. It's like putting your hands on something flat. It feels a little bit more comfortable. Right now, it's 60 degrees in forecast. The rain should be here in an hour and a half. Really excited about this trip. Hopefully we get to see some pretty stuff. The Greenbrier Trail is supposed to be one of the top 10 prettiest trails in the country. Like I said, this used to be railroad, which gives you a little bit of info here.
is our mile marker. It's spring here in West Virginia. The mouse, or no, that was a chickmunk. Oh, we're up here in the mountains. They could get down in the high 20s. Didn't bring a jacket or nothing, but if, you, if you've been a bike packer, which is new to me, but I know hiking is you want to start hiking cold because you're going to start getting hot soon. And I got 30 degree quilt in my hammock, which should be okay. I'm definitely going to be using different muscles than I've ever used before. That's pretty. They say that you can hike this, but I don't know if I would want to. It's kind of flat. It used to be a railroad. It's probably would be more of a boring hike, but for a bike, this could be fun. We're in the spring, so hopefully we'll get to see some flowers. Just got here, not far, and there's a campsite. It's well marked. No hose, no camp. There's a, yeah, I'm not gone very far at all. There's a campsite right on the water. We got something else coming up here. This trailer is awesome. I have no idea it's, it's back there. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Old bridge. Place to get out of the rain or the picnic. I like stuff like that. Right now we're going about 12 miles per hour. A little more than four hours pedaling I'd hit my goal of 50 miles. It doesn't feel like I have that trailer back there and then you kind of hit a bump and you realize you got that back there. I'll try to do 50 today and 27 tomorrow. But I'm sure that rain's gonna slow me down. I went to Walmart and got like one of those rain jackets that packs down. I saw a trout jump when I was doing drone footage. Been two miles now. Those little bluebirds. So there's trout in this water. A little bit of mud. This trail is really maintained. It's beautiful. So cloudy. I couldn't see it, but man, it flew by me quick. Looks like we had a little collapse in there. Huh. It's all good. We can get around this. All right. All good. Tighten my helmet up little bit how pretty that water is so you see that W that tells the train to blow its whistle because you're coming to a, a crossroad to start blowing your whistle that's neat they kept that some houses 77 man living by a train that would suck cost you another There's cottages. Rent me. Huh, that's cool. I love that house right there. That's cool. Up. Oh, got one of those buildings. That's horse poop. There's some horses been on it down here. A little bird. Wow, this is beautiful. You got the creek beside you. Ledge. That water. There's not really been any grade on this been zero, one, or negative one, which is just super flat, which I am not complaining. This 
is cool. The old houses. We're in Cloverlick, Robin. Oh, cool. This is the train station. Natural Historical Cloverlick area. What is huh. Let's take a look at this. Man, this is pretty. Ugh. These old homes are so cool. Construction on this is awesome. Yes, this is a train station. It's locked. Look at the window. Huh, that's cool. Man. Is this locked? Yeah. The old bead board. Man. Super cool. Is this locked? Yeah. Huh. That's awesome. That's some information. Okay. Clover Lick. No flathead. It's calling for rain. 11:30. It's 10:30 right now. Huh. There it is. Right there. I guess there was a water tower right there at one time. Huh. Bunch of houses, I guess they're all gone now. Beautiful mountain. The creek runs right over there. This tells me the temperature, your speed, your distance. It'll give me turn by turn, but next turn I have is 24 miles. I don't necessarily need it. I mean, it's pretty well mapped out where I'm supposed to go. Let's get back on the water, or water. Let's get back on the road. Like I gotta put this thing over top of that. Well, let's get busy. It ain't rained on us yet. It's starting to sprinkle. Hopefully no more trees like that. Oh, it's a couple of campsites right at the mile marker 10, maybe 11. There's one here, one there, and there's creeks right there, which is really cool. Starting to rain. I need to get moving. Bathroom. Shelter. Let's go 
water. It's raining. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? <sighs> Put there's some crawfish in there. Oh boy. That boy's doing awesome. See what's going on here. Oh, railroad. That's cool. I love this. This is neat. Let's get a snack. Yeah, it's raining. I'm glad I found this shelter. Well, I did. It was raining on me, and it's at 50 degrees, so up in the mountains, that's cold. It doesn't get chilly. We'll have some jerky. Not too bad place to chill, though. Got my stuff out. I'm all by myself out here. This is pretty awesome. Oh, and there's some beaver, too. Get wet real quick. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna get out of the water. With it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> this is gonna be like in the 30s tonight. This is merino wool, so it dries quick. Keeps you warm when you need to be and cold when you need to be. Wait out this rain. Shouldn't last long. Eat a power crunch. Sitting here chilling. I just want to eat. I'm wet a little bit, but I gotta chill. And it's not super warm. I think it's like 51, 50 degrees. I'm gonna ride this thing out. show you that it's pretty cool beautiful place uh, it's still raining and I'm a little chilly so I'm gonna make a cup of coffee got a cup of Snickers put that in the bag Sun's out now. 
It is 12.30, been here for maybe an hour, drank some coffee, looked at the map. Oh, we got a tunnel coming soon, which is really cool. So let's get packed up so we can get back on the road. We've only went 13 miles. We've got 77 miles to do. At least get 50, get 50 done today. was probably one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> that tunnel was crazy. Look at that river I'm following. I'm not making very good time. I think I went 15 miles and it's one o'clock sprinkling on me. Yeah, I gotta make some miles. There's another W right there. Means we got another cross crossing coming up. The W stands for blow that whistle. I got my whistles right here. I'm coming, guys. All right. We gotta make some miles. I was hoping to do 50. I think I'm at 15 right now. So I got a lot to do. There's a deer right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's just stay quiet in the field. There he goes. I was wondering if we would see deer in here. That's cool. That is neat. All right, we gotta make some miles. We gotta make some miles. Good play. There's a bunch of deer that just crossed the road. Oh well. That's all right. See the deer? Let's see if I can catch up with them. 
Just a glimpse, and they were up the mountain. I think you would have been able to see it go up crossroads. Look at that. At 20 miles, I've already broke one bar. I got five bars for the battery, but I've mostly been staying at pedal assist two to keep the battery lasting as long as I can. Pedal assist two. Uh, puts me right at around 11 miles per hour, which feels kind of slow. It's faster than walking, but I could use the sun to come out. Let's just say 61 and 19 miles so far. Looks like we got another bridge coming. Let's see what this looks like up here. See the dog? I don't know if that's Bradford pears or dogwoods. It's pretty. White trees. What's this say? Thorny Creek. This must be another bridge. It doesn't have a name. Not on this side, anyway. It's just a bridge. See if it says something on the back side. Nothing. It says we're at the halfway spot, which this is not the halfway. You are here. Huh. The gnats are crazy. Let's keep going. All right, come on. It's 50 degrees. Went over 20 miles so far. Let's see if we can get 30 more by the end of the day. Right now it's 1.30. This could take three days, I don't care. But it is crazy pretty. Look at that. That is so cool. I really like this hammerhead bike computer. Not super expensive. What's this thing say? Oh, just uh, geckos. And uh, tells you the temperature, how fast you're going. You see that? Yeah, it tells you the temperature, how fast you're going, uh, the time, uh, when your next turn is, the grade. Oh, it's pretty cool. Look at that. What I've been looking at. Oh, hold on. There you go. All right. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. That's the battery life on the top left. Fifty. Fifty-nine miles to the end. We gotta quit. We gotta quit messing around. Oh wait, there's some ducks. Right. What y'all doing? There we go. I see you. I say one guy with two girls. All right, we gotta make some eyes. This is cool. Where they get water. Look at that. That's 
cool. Town right next to me here. I don't know if you can see it. The road's turned to asphalt. Man, it smells good. These little log cabins, those things are so cool. Visitor Center. That was actually awesome. Oh man, whoever that guy is, I want him on my team. Oh look, it's a little bike repair spot. That's cool. Look at that. Can you see it? Oh, that's awesome. Gives you uh, some information about the place. <laughs> It's got tools, it's got a place for air. Ah, oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, keep going. There we go. There we go. This is pretty. Don't get hit by that car. Looks like I'm leaving this town. Got a cool little bridge right up here. Here's the town. There's some geese over there. Oh, this bridge here is the only bridge in the United States made out of cast iron. Yeah, this is made out of cast iron. Oh man. Crazy. Oh, right now. Which is crazy. Not sure what that is. A water treatment. Or, uh, what does that say? Oh, that's that W. Yeah, I'm sure what that is. I'm like 25 miles in and there's like this skate ramp thing. I'm probably camp there. Looks like it's got electricity. You had an e-bike. Huh. Oh, right here. Let's see. There ain't nobody here. I'm not planning on camping. But I could charge for a little bit. Oh yeah, they got power everything here. I don't know if there's a skate ramp. Let's see. This bathroom's right out there. Huh, this place is cool. Let's see if we got power. Okay, I got power. I don't need a bunch of charge. I only, I'm down to two bars now. I got three. But uh, I could stop and eat lunch and maybe get an hour on this. Let it charge for about an hour. This is pretty cool. It's got power. It's been about 17 minutes and I've had it charging. I haven't eaten yet. I just thought about it, but I just passed the town. And I was looking on my phone. They've got restaurants there. I could probably just go in and eat and see if they'll let me charge. Cause you can take the battery off of that and then just plug it in and charge while I'm eating and get some food. It's two o'clock right now, 2.17. So I think that's what I want to do. So let's go back to that town. It's just like right back up there. So 
grab something to eat and then we'll get back on the trail. The Alfredo's, the trail is right there. Where you saw the plane go by, there's a yellow building there, visitor center. Let's see if this place is open. Now let me charge. Doesn't look open. What's the day, Tuesday? So they're open from four to eight. All right, so they're not open right now. Hmm. Uh, are they? I have no idea. It says four to eight, two, Monday. Today's Monday. All right, we'll have to find another spot to eat. So let's figure this thing out. All right, they are open and they do have electricity. So that's awesome. So I guess they are open. That sign tricked me, but I looked online and it says they're open from 10 to, or nine to 10 or something like that. So we'll grab the battery charger and charge while we eat. I still got three bars, but might as well charge while we're eating. It's got free Wi-Fi too. Check that out. That's awesome. All right, this is cool. And add motor charging. That's awesome. Grab us something to eat. Almost three. It's springtime, so it gets dark around seven. So I'll get a couple more hours of riding in, and then we'll try to find camp. Let's go. I'm gonna eat this. I oh, need to get some miles. I'm trying to get 50 today. It's three o'clock right now. Let's see if I can. Eat this and be on the road by uh, 3.30. It don't get dark until like 7.30, so let's see if I can get another 20 miles in. That'll take me at 50. I'll let this thing charge. Okay. All right, we'll be back. Well, my belly's full now. I gotta get back on the road. Bike's good. It's like sprinkling a little bit. I got my battery back charged up. Let's put that there. There we go. Right there. In. It's freaking raining. I gotta get like a rain jacket on or something. Back on the trail. Oh, it's, we're not recording. There we go. All right, got my jacket on. Now get killed. All right. It's barely sprinkling. Looks like we've got some people on the trail. Oh, my belly's full. Y'all seen this, so I'll be back. Trying to get some miles in. Hey, bud. Looks like another campsite. Oh, that's cool. It's got a tent pad. A restroom. And a bear. Oh, that's trash can. Huh. This is called Baby Creek. Can't see Beaver Creek. Huh, there was a house there or something at one time. There's a roof or some kind of structure. Huh. Let's keep it rolling. Looks like I'm crossing over the river. Cool. 
take a look. That was neat. I guess the river will be on the left side now. Nope, this is a pasture. Let's see if there's any deer in it. I don't see any. What a cool place, man. That looks like one of those metal buildings that they turned into a house. That's cool. That's just a garage. I guess this is a house up here. Man, that's cool. You got a house right by the water like that? Man. How cool is that? River trail. That's definitely cool. Just wanted to show y'all some of the prettiness. Look like a bunch of trees fell down right here at one time. It's springtime and I can just smell all the flowers. They smell awesome. It's 513. It's 51 degrees. It's a little bit breezy. I put it, kept this jacket on because it's cold. And we're at uh, about 36 miles. There it is right there. Four more miles, we're halfway. It don't get dark till around seven. I'll have to see if I can get 12 more miles in today. I don't know if you can hear that squeaking. That just started. That's always sounds like bearing. Look how green that water is. Oh, crazy. Only time I've seen anybody is been on the uh, when I was closer to town, people were walking on these things. It's kind of sad, this thing is, which I'm, I'm happy to be out here by myself. It's crazy. Nobody's out here enjoying this. I'm enjoying it. All right, let's keep going. That's pretty cool, one of those old houses. Right next to the train. That's neat. Ah, old house. That's cool. Looks like we got another W. I'll do this. Let them know I'm coming. You know what I'm talking about? Look at this. Oh, there's a deer out there. Can you see that? He's running. He's swimming. Get it, little buddy. This is crazy beautiful. Sun's trying to pop out too, which is awesome. That was cool. That's a nice campsite. Right next to water there. Trash can. And this is what they see. I wake up in the morning. I'm still trying to get some miles in. That would have been a great one. That's uh, uh, around 39 miles. I wanted to show you what I've done. Back mile marker, well not mile marker, but my mile marker, thir 33, my battery died. And so I didn't want to share what I was going to do to see if I could charge this thing and it fails. So I wanted to at least try it. So for eight miles I've been paddling, but I want to show you what I did. I've got it charging here i ran it through these velcro it goes up through here and then i bungee corded this so it doesn't go back and forth I run it through here into my go sun i've been doing that for eight miles now and it, are we at 75 just kind of give you an idea it's a great freaking company i love these guys but it goes right through there and goes right in there so it lasted maybe 32 miles 
with this weight right here. So if I had two batteries, I could probably go 65 miles and I was on pedal assist too. Just wanted to share that with you. I wanted to get to mile marker 40. So this is basically the halfway mark of the entire trail, mate, I guess. It says it's 77 miles and the mile marker up there says 80. So I don't know, but I do know is I'm not cold. Got this jacket on. I appreciate that. I picked it up at Walmart before I got on this trail. Oh, and I'll show you. So it's been sitting on this right here. Imagine if I just left it alone for a little bit, it would get back to two. That's basically what I'm doing. It's not getting hot or nothing. It's 74%. I wanted to share that with you to see how far this will go. I'm not trying to get the do the whole thing. And what time is it? Six o'clock right now. Probably want to paddle for maybe one more hour and then uh, look for camp and then let this thing charge the rest of this up. Honestly, don't know how far that will charge this. That's 550 watts and that's a 17 and a half amp battery with a 750 Bafang motor. We'll see. I'll be smarter when this trail is over with. Talk to you in a little bit. There's deer on the trail. What are you doing, bud? That was cool. See that one showing off? The next campsite, if it's not taken, we'll take that one. It's 640. I don't, I don't think I'm going to hit my goal of 50. It'll get dark here in the next 45 minutes to an hour going over a bridge. And I don't want to uh, pedaling in the dark. I think the next campsite's in three miles. That's cool. Got here, there's a little road right there. It's in rough shape. Oh, and there's a tree down. I probably have been there for a minute. A couple of houses. A cinder block home. It's definitely a cool trail. shelter for the night this is cool this is where we're staying it's seven o'clock got a shelter got the whole place to ourselves
This little seat pad is awesome. Keeps your butt warm. It's cold. It'll be like, if they say 31 in town, it's probably gonna be in the 20s, high 20s. I brought some warm clothes, like a, a base layer and some wool socks. Just had a chill. Just completely quiet. But it's time for dinner. Let's see. I don't really have anything to cook other than coffee. Gotta go. Gotta look good for the camera. Let's see. You want some coffee? Let's see. This is mayonnaise that I got from Waffle House. Coffee. They sent me this free one. Might try that. Legend. Oh no. Let's see. What y'all know about that? Chicken. I might mix it with some pink salmon I got from the river. I wrote, I got that from the river. So this is still good. And it's crazy. This stuff's good for like five years. Let me scraps. This plus some mayonnaise. Let me grab my water. See the sun trying to come out? This is a absolute beautiful trail. It, it is crazy how pretty it is. Get my spoon. Let this thing taste. This is Gatorade. Electrolytes. It's got a little burn pit here. That's good. All right. Thing's got a defect. Camp set up. There we go. Got some salmon on it. It's chicken and some salmon. Never mixed those two together before. Jumpy. Some mayonnaise. I'm gonna scarf this down and uh, I'll see you after we're done eating. Alright, all done. I'm gonna have uh, something chocolatey. Here, I was working on one before. Let me get my trash. Take it to the they got little trash cans here in the bathroom. I'll take a look at the bathroom too. There's the bathroom, but I want to throw this trash out first. Oh, okay. Got a little lever. It's firewood over there. Hmm. Got the shelter. What are you doing, bud? You got a little home up there. dead trees. Good look at this trash. This bathroom. Yeah. That's cool. 
Might get a fire going. Let's go look at the water real quick. Looks like, looks like that had some hot water. Ah, that's cool. There's a cave. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful. That is cool. Plenty of dead wood. Let's see what we can do about the fire. All right, I have gathered some wood. I'll show you what I've done so far. So, got some small stuff, a little bigger, a little bigger, and then some bigger stuff. And I got that from the fireplace, their fireplace over there. Let's see if we can get a fire going. I don't have any cylinder, but uh, let's see. I changed into my wool socks, my base layer, long underwear. Got me a warm hat. Probably gonna keep the rain jacket on through the night because it is cold. Not by this fire. This fire feels great. I guess I can take this off right now. That was probably a bad idea. It was kind of cold. <sighs> that looks like the sun's still out it's dark man it's nine o'clock <laughs> but the camera does a great job at pulling up pulling the light out i'm gonna chill we did um uh 46 miles today i wanted to do 50 but that's okay this is a a good camp spot i guess it's 77 miles so tomorrow we have 31 miles left 
I checked the GoSun and it's at 7%. The electric ad motor is at three bars. So hopefully we'll get four bars tomorrow. But other than that, it's going to be much colder tomorrow. So it'll probably eat up that battery even more. We'll see. Uh, whatever happens, I'll keep the camera rolling. Definitely good. I think about getting an extra battery would definitely help. It lasted 33 miles. I had two batteries in theory that would last 66 miles. Plus the GoSun, the 550 watt that would charge one battery and I guess theory I could go 120 miles if I had an extra battery it's very overcast I don't have I don't have a tarp it wasn't calling for rain but I have that um, no see -um netting that'll keep me pretty dry I'm not if it rained but like if high humidity just enjoy this fire maybe call it a night get up early the sun don't get up until about 7 15 right now so i go to bed right now i'll be in bed for like 12 hours or chill by this fire for a little while drink some coffee and listen to silence i appreciate y'all watching if you haven't thumbs up comment subscribe if you like this type of stuff i do all kinds of paddling pedaling and hiking put out a video every friday at 11 if you want to see more of this type of stuff hit that notification bell and i'll see you on the next episode thanks guys